What's up guys, welcome to Shadowrun Hong Kong. If you've been on the channel for a while, you know that I did a let's play of the original, well the original, I say the original, Shadowrun Returns Dead Man Switch. I didn't play the uh, second one, what was that called? Dragon something? I missed that one, but I hear a lot of good things, and I'm hoping this one is going to be as good as that or better. I did like um, Shadowrun Returns Dead Man Switch, so... Let's see what this one is all about. A new game! The main story launch campaign. The cur your current global difficulty setting is normal. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. R2 reload. Good to know. Alright, character creation. There's gonna be an annotation uh, popping up right about now if you wanna skip this. But I. I do love me some character creation. I'm gonna be a female. Let's see, shall we do a troll or an orc? I feel like that's gonna be what we're gonna do. Plus one to body and strength. Orcs have plus one to body. So I guess if we would pick one of those, we're gonna be like a, a bruiser, melee type of person? How's the other ones? Maximum stats? Charisma 6, that's quite low. I'm thinking we're gonna do an orc. Having a, a, a decent charisma on our party leader is always good. And a class. Shall we do Street Samurai or something else? I remember Physical Adept being really uh, complicated back there in um, Dead Man Switch at least. Maybe they fixed that. And we played a Decker in that. So maybe you do something more... Street Samurai, perhaps? I like that. I really like that! Oh, there's like a... Subtle difference. She's got some cybernetics going on. Although I do like that fur lining over there. What else we got? Nah. That's pretty cool as well. But I think we're gonna go with the... This one. Yeah. And we can also do some customization here, but I guess that matches the portrait pretty damn well. I'm not sure about the. Um, is that the hairstyle? Can I do the skin? It seems a slightly darker. Ah. Never mind. Continue to stats. Spend your karma. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. So that's basically skill points. Yeah. And the higher we go, the more it'll cost. So as a street samurai, we probably want to do... Strength and body, primarily. Is there like a... Ah, here we go. Using decking and rigging. And wisdom is for... Chi casting and hermetic magic spells. And Charisma is for... Unlocks etiquettes. I do want some etiquettes. Etiquette is basically like acknowledging something, so you can use that in conversations. So for example, if we do... Security, or corporate, we can have uh, shortcuts or benefits during our shadow runs. Let's go with corporate for now. Maybe we should unlock another one. Let's see how many points we have left. Cyberware Affinity. Do I want Cyberware? I think we want to put one or two points in... Body. So we have a lot of... Um, health or hit points or whatever. Alright. Close weapons or melee weapons. This rank... Oh, I have to do close weapons in order to increase melee weapons. So let's put one point in each of those. Maybe put one point in strength. Which, do we want that? Use to calculate the chance to hit with melee and throwing weapons. Increases the value damage of melee weapons. Let's put one point there. Hmm. Overwatch... Additional weapon slot. Let's put one more there. 
And one more there. Do I have any points left for Charisma? No. Anything else we want to put stuff in? Not Quickness. Maybe Dodge? Although that costs two uh, Karma. We don't have that. Anything that takes one Karma? I think we can save this for our next level up though. So let's confirm that. You have unspent karma, are you sure you want to finish character creation and start the game? You may spend karma later at any time by ac accessing the character screen. Good. Let's name her... Shall we do our... Normal name for female characters? Alana. The... Um... Um... The booty kicker. Done. Last name, I don't know. Le Orc. There we go. Done. A Hair Brain Schemes production. Uh, hi, it's Raymond. I hope I have the right number. Look, I know we haven't spoken in a while, but I need your help. Remember the day I took you and Duncan off the streets? I told you that the past is just a story, that if you can just accept that, your past loses all power over you. wrong. I'm on my way to Hong Kong now, to finish something I should have faced a long time ago. And I need you with me. I know we're not blood and we didn't leave things in a good place, but you and Duncan are the only real family I have. Please. If our past means anything to you, meet me in Hong Kong right away. I'll explain more when you get here. I'm begging you. I'm almost out of time. That little melody right there was very similar to the Mad Max one. I was a bit, uh, worried there. They were gonna be, uh, plagiarizing. But that was some intro. Hard landing. Raymond Black, the old man gave you a home once, took you and Duncan off the gang-ridden street streets of the Barons. Sheltered, educated, slapped sense into you both until you almost resembled productive members of society. And then you took off. Left it all behind. Landed behind bars for a time, try to start a new life after that. It's been eight years since you've heard Raymond's voice. Until out of the blue, you got this cryptic message, a plea for help. Meet me in Hong Kong, right away. And wired to your account enough new yen to pay for the flight and then some. The descent is rough. A squall comes out of nowhere, sending a solid sheet of rain pushing into the suborbital transport. With a ragged shudder, the plane finally skids to a halt at the edge of the Cheklap Lok Tarmac. An hour and an interminable number of emotionless security checkpoints later, you hail a water taxi to Victoria Harbor. Hong Kong looms ahead, pulsing with energy. And then... Here we go. So we have uh, 1200 new yen. You step from the churning of the water taxi to the ponderous rocking of the docks, your stomach lurching at the transition. As soon as you're clear, the captain nods once and steers the small craft back into the harbor. The man never says a word. 
You just handed you a worn brown duffel bag when you stepped on board, filled with gear, some stiff new body armor, and a note, better safe than sorry, D. That's gotta be Duncan, the other kid. Above, smoke-thick clouds hang low in the sky, reflecting the lights of the city in nauseating swirl, a nauseating swirl, the wind changes direction more than once, creating a heavy stew of aromas. Diesel, so sea salt, street food, and filth. It's all you can do to keep your in-flight meal where it belongs. Two figures stand waiting in the dim light of the pier. The first is an orc, lean, with in-your-face muscles and a jaw made to break fists. The second is an elf, one hand resting casually against her hip. Raymond Black is nowhere to be seen. Well, don't you look like shit. Duncan Wu, the closest thing you have to a brother. You haven't seen the man in eight years. Still as charming as ever. So we double orcs. Orc family for life. He grins. Green's not really your color, Alana. Doesn't go with that nice new armor I got you. As you open your mouth to respond, something shifts alarmingly in your stomach. A liquid, bubbling sensation. Don't know what you're talking about. Must be the harbor lights messing with you. Tough it out. Must be. Guess you've still got some of your old fortitude at least. Ha ha ha. Considering how much sinful hall we used to put down, I'd be surprised if you couldn't handle a little chop. Anyway, we gotta go find Raymond. Where is the old man? Never showed up. He still got that some baritone rasp. Nailed it! Had it since he was 12. Who do all developed early? When was the last time you saw him? A few weeks ago. Before I got this message telling us to meet him here. I'd been working a lot, so I hadn't been by the house in a while. Any idea what's going on? No clue. All I know is that Raymond... Hasn't been himself in a long while. How so? He's been restless. Staying in his study. Inside his own head a lot. And he barely sleeps anymore. I've been worried about him. But I haven't figured out what to do about it. And I didn't have a sister to turn to. Hell. Wasn't too sure you even were still alive. Until Raymond managed to track down your number. Damn, this voice is gonna do a number on my throat, isn't it? We should get going, Duncan. Head back to the meeting point in case your dad shows up. Copy that, Sarge. They're ve wearing Lone Star body armor. Looks like Duncan Wu's gone private police. You his partner? Unfortunately, yes. Although partner's not the right word for it exactly, I like superior officer better. I'll let him carry my coffee for me, grab my parking tickets, that kind of thing. Carter! I figured you could use some backup. Didn't know what Raid got himself into, and I wasn't sure you were gonna show up. God damn, that's gonna wear on me. <laughs> but we have uh, set the stage. Of course I showed up. Yeah, well, I wasn't so sure, you know. Hey, look. I'm glad you're here, Alana. Seriously. But I'm gonna need some time to get used to having you around again. Been a while since I heard from you. You know what I mean? Memories of sleepless nights in lockup flash by. Wondering if you'd ever seen Duncan or Raymond again. Wondering if you even wanted to. And then, stepping out into the daylight. Suddenly free the fallout of some obscure corporate restructuring. A few hundred Nguyen worth of apology from your former jailers, and a decision to start a new life. To leave the past behind, all of it, until now. I know I've been out of reach, or touch. You could say that, yeah. Well, let's just find Raymond. He was supposed to meet us in the plaza on the other side of this pier. The sooner we find him, the sooner you can all have a big happy family reunion over dinner. And the sooner I can find a place to get a drink around here. Damn right. Ahead of you, Hong Kong rises serpent-like from the sea. Government and Megacorp 
coiled together, writhing in their basket of institutionalized corruption. No one can tell where the snake's body ends and its tail begins. That's what Raymond used to say. Duncan turns and starts down the pier. Carter follows. We should follow too. Wait. Oh, there we go. Now he's started. Let's see if there's anything around here. Is there... Oh, we got an inspector over there. So the uh, alt key is uh, the highlight. I think I want to move that to the tab key, which I'm used to from like Bulger Gate and stuff. And I don't think I can do that from here. I'll do that later on then. Go check this out. I don't like her run style, it's really odd. Fresh construction? Cool. Can I go through the garbage? No? There's probably gonna be like a tutorial fight or something over here. That's locked. Ah, uh, this looks like a place for a tutorial fight. No? A locked gate? How did you get in here if it's locked? The guard shack at the end of the pier is dark and empty. Duncan gives the gate a push, but it doesn't budge. Huh. Well, that was open earlier. Looks pretty solid. Guess we'll have to find another way. Guess so. Strange that there's no one here, though, isn't it? Who knows? It's Hong Kong. Not exactly sure how things work around here. Come on, Rookie. We can cut through the construction sites. I hate it when you call me that. I mean, my Duncan voice is sort of like a ghoul voice from Fallout. Super excited for Fallout 4, by the way. Hope you're gonna stick around for that let's play as well. Can I get in here? Security checkpoint! The gate is locked, but the nearby control panel appears accessible. Connor pulls it open with a metallic screech that pierces your skull, sending a new wave of pain down to your churning stomach. She examines the control panel for a moment, then throws Wu a backwards glance. Looks like there's another way off the docks on the other side of this gate. I think that I can bypass the lock. Oh, I don't have enough intelligence for that. Stand aside! Carter fiddles, fiddles with some wires, and the dock lock hisses open. Got it! Let's go! Sweet! Now, let's see. There's probably going to be a fight here, isn't there? Yo, movement! Shouting in Cantonese! <laughs> More Cantonese, too quick to catch! I don't speak Cantonese, so that would be uh, a waste even if they had. There's probably going to be some audio or um, text in Cantonese, probably. The group on the dock was fishing a package out of the speedboat when you surprised them. Now the package is at the bottom of the bay, and the speedboat is disappearing into the distance. They close on you, red-faced and yelling. The light of the harbor glints off of their weapons as they approach. The leader shouts something in Cantonese, but it's too fast to make out. You're rusty, it's been years, since Raymond's house and the language lesson that wouldn't end. The old man never spoke anything but his native tongue at home. Wu speaks with authority. His Cantonese is as solid as ever, he never let it drop. You guys doing some late night fishing? Oh yeah, we're fishing for assholes! You're gonna need some better bait. All you're gonna catch with that is trouble. Um... Seriously? Did they teach you that in Red Cop School? He turns to you with a smile starting on his face. Then he thinks better of it. Turns back to the smugglers. Lone Star! Oh, sorry. Lone Star! Put the guns down! <laughs> Oh. Never seen a badge like that before. Either it's fake or you're some kind of security guard. Either way, it, this ends the same. I think he's done talking. So are we. Let's do this. I think I remember enough about the combat mode to uh, set us up the path. Let's see. She's a street samurai. She's got a machete. So I want to get in close. But I don't want to get too close and uh, leave myself vulnerable. Let's see, who you got a tattoo, gunman, a mage, an enforcer, and a thug. So I probably want to take cover over there for now. And save my remaining points. You have an assault weapon. You probably want to get into cover. 
and use that. Try to take down this mage. 10 damage. Um, you probably want to stick around. Oh, you're a mage. That's good. Get into combat or cover. I'm not sure if I want to stay bunched up. They might have, like, grenades. Probably not because it's a tutorial, but I don't want to get in bad habits here. Most basic spell. Yeah, I want to use that. On the mage. Mage is down. The mage is down. God damn it. That voice really took it out of me. Excuse me. <clears throat> there we go. All cleared out. Alright, Alana. You are gonna end. And let the enemy take their turn. Nine damage. That's quite a lot. But I appear to have a uh, decent health bar. Ha! Shot your friend in the face. Or in the back, more like. Flanked. Get shopping. Double. Oh, he's so low. But I don't think I want to waste it on him. Maybe do a... Um, aim shot on one of these guys. How much damage is that? Damage 10. How can I... Can I check their uh, HP? I don't think so. Alright, let's make... This guy go away. A crit, eh? Can you take cover? Is that this? Subdue? Sip tie a stunned enemy. That's pretty good. But how do I take cover? No? Alright, let's see what you have. Carter. A mana ball. Do you have any AoE? Strip armor, heal wound armor. Well, let's just go with the normal attack then. Oh, you missed it! How about the second one? Eight damage. And Duncan, you have another attack because you have a lot of H AP. Try to take him down. Almost. Three damage. Oh, that is a lot. 23 damage! Um, get over here. And hopefully you have enough AP. No, you don't. For a shot. 68%, is that enough? No. Well, I'm gonna have to take it, aren't I? Yeah. Down you go. And let's see, where's our AP bar? Is that it? The two points there? But this one takes three, but it's still highlightable. Is there another AP uh, meter anywhere? Well, it's it's available, so I'm gonna take it. Ten damage. And Carter, move up over there. Seventy percent, I'll take it. Darn it. Now. Booty kicker! Get in there. Nice. Do you think these those guys will try it? Not sure. I don't recognize their tattoos. Cool. Alright, so we have a uh, first look at the setting and the combat. Hopefully you guys are excited to see more. I'm gonna play like an hour or two and see how you guys like it and how I like it. And then we'll see how it goes. So if you want to see more of this, leave a like, a comment, or share this video around. It really helps out. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.